You guys are in trouble now. <laughs> All right, folks. Um, it's uh, T Biz and Overlord Productions here. Yeah. And this is our little after party um talk thing or whatever. Little or a little after party talk for um Masters Universe Revelation season two. And um, I'll let I'll Overlord. I'll let you, I'll let you go ahead and start this off, man. Well, first and foremost, uh, spoiler alert, Andra and Tila aren't gay. Andra does not become the champion of Greyskull. Man at Arms does not die. he and Skeletor are actually in this for a significant period of time. And Scareglow gets cucked out again. I mean... <laughs> yep. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> and if so, and if, um, was it Andra and, uh, Andra and, uh, Tila Wurge, it's, it's nobody's business. It's, <laughs> who cares? Anyways. It doesn't seem like it. it it's, it's not it's a big like deal. Owl. It's not a big deal. And it's funny because uh, there were so many uh, clickbaiters and just people tripping and all kinds of the stuff. There, there, there are so many people that were mad that they didn't get enough He-Man, that they were going to get enough of their precious He-Man. Well, you know, now you got a whole He-Man, so you can shut your own. Yeah, we, we, we got a... We got a Super aggro he man. It kinda like I told Overlord. It reminded me when I was a kid and uh, me and my cousins would play with our toys and have battles together and come up with ridiculous rules and ridiculous ways to win battles and that would have been one of them. Uh, uh, like a savage he man or going berserk or, or calling like the power all the power or something. Oh, that that's like, that's like one of those scenarios that makes me think as a kid is just being ridiculous trying to win a battle and stuff and be like no well, i'm gonna make sure he meant to, you know just goes aggro and destroys everybody you know <laughs> it's like that was crazy he's like a dumb hulk but another thing too that was crazy about this we saw um pig boy from the from the movie from the the dolph lundgren movie because pig boy was and a blade well, yeah and blade which is crazy because the pig boy character was a contest there's a contest where you could, I don't know if it's through the Masters of the Universe magazine, which I have an old, ah, oh jeez, an old copy here. But, um, but anyways, I think they had a contest or something like that. Could have been through just the toys too, but I think it was from the magazine back in the day that, um, you could win, you could win a chance to be in the movie or whatever. This kid won. And uh, or it could have been through the toys too, but anyways, this kid won, and he was Pig Boy, which it's like for a second in the movie you see him. I think he hands Skeletor a staff or something like that, or hands him a weapon or something like that. And and we had Pig Boy in the freaking cartoon because I saw this. I was watching the first episode on the bus on the way to work, and I was like, "Who's this little purple guy with the cloak? I could barely see him." And then later in that other episode, and you go, you know, "There's a Pig Boy," and I was like, "That's from the freaking movie." And they did some other throwbacks in the movies where, you know, where you see the, the projection. Yeah, in the, the sky. Throw. Yeah, that, that crazy, haunting, scary looking projection of either Skeletor or Evil in the sky. That's straight from the movie. So, yeah, I, I love how they pull from a lot of different legends for this. It, it's it's just awesome. So, uh, coming soon to Mattel Creations, Pig Boy and Blade 2 pack. Oh, don't worry about it. It's already sold out. <laughs> Yeah, that's the only thing I don't look forward to is any crazy exclusives that are hard to find or I've got to really be on edge to get or whatever <laughs> and that. And um, yeah, and I'm, I'm just like, there's just so much to happen. There's so many funny one-liners, especially with Fisto and Skeletor. That that was that was hilarious. How oh, I'd love to fist him. <laughs> it was crazy, Which, man. Uh, yeah, unfortunately, we didn't get much of him or Clamp Champ. Yeah. <laughs> And another thing I want to bring up too is that how Wave Seven kind of ties a lot of stuff together, because you got the sorceress who dies or passes on, and uh, which is a bummer. The Force Ghost, like Obi Wan. Yeah, <laughs> which is a bummer, but it's understandable. Nobody lives forever. I saw people. that coming in part one. I'm like, he's going back. Yeah, no, nobody lives forever. Nobody lives forever. You're, you're, Although you're... I will say, Duncan's cries made me laugh. If if, if my <laughs> grandpa, my grandpa's have not lived forever then the sorceress is not going to live forever so just just wrap oh, that it? wrap it around your pea brain folks <laughs> so what is it <laughs> you know if some of my best friends don't live forever then yeah of course the sorceress is not going to live forever but um yeah that tripped not me up she's not real 
it's yeah, it's, like, a, it's a cartoon. <laughs> it's a cartoon and a toy. It's like, what is it? It's, um, you know what? I don't think Ghost Rider Spawn or anyone in Gargoyles actually died, so I don't have it. <laughs> but but I remember, I remember there's many, so many so-called like true Motu fans that left me comments and hated on so much of this new stuff. And and it's just it's it's re- for this new stuff you wouldn't be getting the stuff you like yeah the new stuff exactly like, that's and, how it works and I that's think a lot of this works. all tied together I think it tied together man pretty well and they, even with the comics with the new comics that tied together really too that uh, it was really I think really really good in like part one this should save it for you because yeah. there's plenty of the stuff you want in it yeah. It's and, not just about Evil Lynn. It's not the Evil Lynn show. It's not she's just the Tila show. It. She's yeah. a focal point, but she's not. It's not like part one where it was literally like Tila leading a band of, you know, renegades to hell and back and whatnot. Yeah. To make sense for the story. It's like you get plenty of different characters. Like we saw Spike or. Scared Teeb is like Thunder Punch E-Man. He's yeah, he's, I got pretty startled. I was watching that, and then you, hear, you see a spike come out of nowhere. I was like, whoa, hey, what's happening here? <laughs> All of a sudden, there's there's Overlord Spike or in there right oh, there. coming for you, sucker. So, because we got teased with him in that first episode, so it's like, oh, man. We got him, we got Clawful, we got Web Store, my man. We, we also got the, um, who's the the guy with the um, from the mini comics with the horns, the red guy? They made a classic Goat so Man. Goat Man. You got Goat Man in there. So he that was, was in a book, though. I don't remember him being in the comics. I thought he was, was in the book. mini comics, but I don't remember. I might have it. May, may I think not. he was a Golden Book character or something. Hmm, I don't know. Maybe. I was in uh, something like that. I, I feel like he's in the comics, though. I feel like he's in a mini comics. He probably comic. was, but I feel like he's in a mini comics. from a book. But, um... Yeah, man, there, there's so much good stuff. And uh, I will admit that the first episode had me a little thrown off. Like at watching the first episode, I was kind of like, "Oh, I, I don't know what's up, man. I might, I might have these um, Force Awakens or Last Jedi vibes with this or something after this is all said and done." And I don't. But like that first episode really threw me for a loop. It really did. I feel like I could watch paint and dry and be more entertained than with the Force Awakens. <laughs> <laughs> we don't have any Rose Ticos in this show. Orko makes Rose Tico look even lamer, which is funny because it's just Orko. Yeah, even the side characters in this sh- in this show are are like just still kick butt. It's like Pig Boy is more interesting than Rose Tico. Yeah, yeah. He's in it for like two minutes. <laughs> <laughs> but man, there was just so much good stuff, dude. It was um, we saw Point Dread. We saw the Talon, Talon fighter. fighter. We see, um, we seen. Red Ka- Man. Is it was by Mark Hamill. We see, uh, was it Captain Marlena or just Queen Marlena? Because wasn't she? She was an astronaut, obviously. You know, when she was in the filmation stuff she was or the whatever. Queen for this part. And um, but yeah, but probably she, wearing her battle but I, suit. But I forgot. Oh, but I forgot what her deal was when she was an astronaut but anyways she's back to flying a, a fucking you know oops excuse me she's back to flying a machine <laughs> <laughs> this is how excited he is healed he's willing to get demonetized for this show <laughs> <laughs> she's flying the town fighter dropped a bomb which was <laughs> just like you did yeah but which was um ram man ram man that was by Mark Hamill. Yeah, that was crazy. That was crazy. We saw some Ram Man. So we saw a lot of people's uh, he who should not be named <laughs> his favorite character. They're one of his favorite characters. And he didn't get pumped out either. Yeah, dude. It was it was really good, man. It was it was uh, the Adrenids, the, the Aquaticans, the Avians, Avians. were all in there. And, and that Wave Seven really ties it together now because after reviewing it and watching Except this for Jitsu. I did not see any jitsu. And we, we, we saw, yeah, we didn't see I wonder, him. I wonder if he's with the tech dudes, maybe, because of his hand. I don't know. But we saw Lucky Guy uh, version of um, of Scareglow. So we saw that in there. So for the people that are completists. <laughs> but I, for those of you who have more money than brains, you can go drop a bill for that figure on eBay. Right? Yeah, yeah, or wait for it to go down eventually, I hope. I don't know. 
But and and now I got this Tila. I haven't checked her out yet, but now I'm stoked, man. So yeah, I'm, I'm really stoked. I've been a Tila fan my whole life, so I don't understand all this. I've said this before in many videos. I don't I'll understand. Just say this. You've been a fan of like every character, like even that no. background character who was in filmation for two seconds. It's one of his favorites. So don't even. I'm coming here with the BS comments, you know, because this guy has probably been fan longer than you've been alive. So. Yeah, I think I've scared off all the anti people or whatever. I think everybody, all, all the friends of this channel now, we're all we all have an understanding or or equal admiration, or you know, just people I know. Like I don't, I don't think I can get any more of the weird, crazy haters anymore that I've banned or. It's <laughs> all hashtag don't jinx it. <laughs> don't jinx it, but we kind of welcome you too because we'll make fun of you. So it's like we'll, at some point we'll make fun of you uh, off camera and on. So yeah, right? off and, on camera. Yeah. and now we, we now we have we, to talk about the fact that we need more of the show because of the ending. Yeah, I would like to see an origin show. I would like them to keep the cartoons coming and maybe just get an origins thing going. That'd be kind of cool. That'd be that. Oh, I want the horde. I and, want and from hell, freaking motherboard. And is that like horde the, prime? The motherboard character is crazy because you see Screech. It looks like Screech, like a big statue of Screech, because it's got yeah. the 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 helmet thing with the with the guns or the blasters or rockets or whatever on it. And then it transforms, and you see this like like um I don't know if it was like Ghost in the Shell or some kind of crazy anime looking robot thing or whatever i don't know what you want to call it but it's a uh robot lady yeah robot that, lady the, 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 a serpent tail yeah that. the forms out of it but at the but the end when you see that you see that horde symbol and it's like oh crap that's hordax some some kind of uh mat hordak magic doing whatever because you know hordak he guess he's you know a wizard too and he's like a techno wizard. he's like a techno though. wizard yeah so he's just like whew. It's crazy balls. And hopefully this week we're going to get that Horde 4 pack. So we're going to be able to check that out on the channel, which is going to be awesome. And then we have Skeletor just kind of getting turned into what he looked like in New Adventures because he was like a robot cyborg. Yeah. Freakazoid in that. Maybe that'll happen, dude. Maybe that'll happen. So it's it like. It looks like it is. I don't know if he's going to be a puppet or not. Yeah. There, yeah. There's so much going on with this. And it was a good, it was a good second. We're going to have to rewatch it for sure. I'm gonna have to rewatch all of it together now, again. Yeah, like all ten episodes. Yep, it'll, it'll be like a movie, I guess, in a way or something. I don't know. <laughs> it'll be longer than a movie. It'll be like well, six episodes is dang near three hours. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I don't know. We're probably have to watch this over like Christmas time or something. And just watch all of it. We're probably leaving out a lot of stuff, but man, there's so much funny stuff and good stuff and one-liners and yeah and even um what's that part where uh evil Lynn and a uh, skeletor they're about to have sex or whatever <laughs> get about it dude and it's like it's like crazy man because it's like of course you know it's it's like most masters well no just most of masters of the universe fans are adults now so or have been adults or in their hashtag no glove no love or, or either in their mid-20s or mid, know mid, sex mid 40s or 50s or whatever they're lemotu fans yeah they're <laughs> you've all either had it or you or motu fans of, yeah of uh sired children or whatever and stuff like that so yeah it's uh, it, it was hilarious man i was like oh my god that's crazy and um yeah it's nuts man there's there's just so much to talk about and uh I, anybody in the comment section please uh leave your opinions and stuff like that and things that you thought were cool about this and stuff because this is going to be full of spoilers so hopefully anybody that watches this like little after party video thing will have seen the show hopefully hopefully and if you haven't if you're not going to then i guess you know, i don't know i mean yeah i don't know you. <laughs> yeah i don't know i don't know but um all, all i have to say is i'm just like all right if you are crazy about part one I can get, I can understand that to a point. This saves the the show. If you weren't into part one, you ought to be into this. I don't see anything that's like, it's, like, it's so. This is super ridiculously two thousand X. 
I kind of had that vibe to it too. I thought I, f I felt like it really had that vibe. Was always plotting to overthrow Skeletor in two thousand X. Yeah, he just was never able to get through, go through with it. Aside from unleashing the Snake Men who betrayed her, anyways. This yeah. time she actually wins. She gets drunk on power. Then she gets the sh not kicked out of her by Tila. And then she becomes the voice of reboot. Let's just talk about guidance counselor Beastman question mark. Yeah, Beastman becomes the voice of reason and he's just all like getting all having these deep deep thought moments with uh with evil Lynn and then she turns him into a big beast dog thing or whatever. With his uh cheese ball shoulders and all. That was crazy. That was pretty cool. I I know there's gonna be uh buddies and stuff like that'll that'll want that um That'll want that beast man, that beast dog figure, especially Altenda. I'm sure he'll want that dude for sure. I want that. <laughs> That's crazy. I want, I want all this. I want Sorceress Tila. I want freaking. Uh, we still don't have like Glenn Benton looking man at arms yet. We just got the classic style one. Another thing too is um, I wanted to bring up. It's funny how like, Wave Seven ties. Like just goes along with this uh, that wave coming out in this part of the show, and it just like kind of fits. And then I I bust out in my sorceress review Zoar, and then we see Zoar in in the freaking cartoon. So yeah, it's it's nuts, man. And I was like, wow, that's then, cool. If you want to go even further, my last skit I did for Origins has Clamp Champ in Subternia, and in the show he gets sent to Subternia by Skelegon. I'm like. <laughs> Clairvoyance! <laughs> we called a lot of things. It was hilarious, man. <laughs> it was we, like, cool. called, we, un, we unintentionally called a lot of stuff. <laughs> and then not only in um, Motu and G.I. Joe, too, sometimes. <laughs> so maybe we have the power. <laughs> I, think, the sorcerers. I think we all have the power. <laughs> Anyways, man, I'm about to just drop this because, um, yeah, um, I got to get up for work tomorrow, and I'm I'm a, I'm a meat and turkey guy, so I have to go and sell turkeys and meat tomorrow, and I'm gonna be hella tired. So, um, Overlord, what what do you got to close this out, man? I want more, give me more. I want more, <laughs> I want more cartoons. I want more stuff to occupy my sad pathetic life. <laughs> Same here, man. Dang it. Same here, man. Same here. Oh my god, dude. And I, I would like to see Wave Two finally completely hit around here, dude. That would be cool. I would like to get the one I keep getting beat to from Wave Two. <laughs> because I do not have Beastman, which I'm not a big fan of the Beastman figure. It's like it I seems a bit small. Hit, well, not just that, but his design just seems so his bubbly, circly. Yeah, he just looks like a bunch of. Cheeto cheese puffs, man. I'm just like, dude. It's like, I could tell you in the hand, I don't see. The, I see the shoulders, absolutely. But well, the, the arms and stuff. So much. But yeah, I don't know. And uh, Man Arms looks awesome. I love this Tila figure. I just got it in the mail today. I had to buy it on eBay because can't find it. But um, immediately just getting her out of the package, looking at her in the box, I was like, this figure is awesome. I'm stoked, you know. And um, yeah. As long as she's not loosey goosey in the torso like mine was, and I had tweak it yeah we'll see you, 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 pretty much pretty much fix that by the way you can never tell but anyways that's it for this video you got anything to plug man i'm gonna be talking doing a video for it this friday okay PM eastern time i'll have a video talking about it like i did with part one sweet I'm, yeah definitely I'm tune into that video for both parts after a while but i'm gonna be doing a video for this part for Friday. And as usual, if you're new to my channel, I'll leave a link so you can go to subscribe to his channel in the description I'm below. Leave the links in the descriptions in my channel. Yeah, we got links. So. He said links. Anyways, thanks for watching, y'all. This has been T Biz and. Not Sorcerer Silverlord. <laughs> <laughs> All right, later, y'all.